In this video, I am going to show you how to add WooCommerce products to your Etsy store. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Bully, a former web developer turned web and tech content creator. I know the challenges and the learning curve, which is why I'm here to share what I've learned and grow alongside you. All right, let's get started. So there are a couple of ways to add your WooCommerce products to your Etsy store. First, you could do it manually if you don't have too many products. Yet, just do it one by one. And second, you could use plugins to semi-automate the process. But even with plugins, you'll still want to go through each product to make sure everything's accurate. And there's a good reason for that, which I'll explain later in the video, so stick around. Here's how to manually add a WooCommerce product from your WooCommerce store to your Etsy store. Click products in your WooCommerce store and then pick a product. Get inside the page by clicking the product title. First things first, you'll need to create a product category that matches what you have in your WooCommerce store with your listings on Etsy. You could set it up to mirror your Etsy categories or adjust it to whatever works best for your Etsy store. In WooCommerce, a product category works the same way as a listing category on Etsy. If you need to create a new listing, just click Add Listing in your Etsy store and fill out the details in the pop-up form right here. I won't go into too much detail here since I know WordPress more than Etsy. So, but generally start by copying over the product title and description from your WooCommerce product into the matching fields on Etsy. If you find a field on Etsy that doesn't exist in WooCommerce, you'll need to add something specifically for Etsy. Remember, WooCommerce and Etsy are built by different companies, so they're not perfectly compatible. There's no one click sync. You'll need to use a bit of your own knowledge and judgment to get things lined up. That's about as far as I could guide you here. Most importantly, be mindful of the format differences between WooCommerce and Etsy products. Even if you're using a plugin to export WooCommerce products to Etsy, you'll still want to check each one to make sure everything looks right and closely matches between the two stores. Key things to consider are product format differences, shipping profiles, and inventory management. If you're managing over 100 products, I still recommend viewing each one, whether you're copying them over manually or using an automation tool. All right, next, let's talk about automation tools or plugins. So far, I've found only three plugins that can export WooCommerce products to Etsy. Let's start with the first one, Product Lister for Etsy by Set Commerce. Hopefully, I am saying that right. The good news is this one is free, but the ratings don't look that good. This plugin offers a range of features to help get the job done, like listing single products on Etsy, listing variable products, automatic price and inventory singing, category mapping, profile settings management, bulk product singing up to 100 products, and timeline activity tracking. For additional features though, you'll need to upgrade to their premium version. And if you go to your WooCommerce store, go to the Add Plugins page, you will be able to search for this plugin outright, like, like on this screen right here. And then you can try it out and install it or read about it. Next up is the premium version of the same plugin called SC for WooCommerce, also by SetCommerce. Now you won't find this version by searching in the Add Plugins page on your WooCommerce store. Instead, you'll need to install the free product lister for Etsy first. Once you've done that, you'll see an upgrade link to the premium version if you want to. 
or you could find a link to it when you view more details about the free plugin before you install the free plugin like I showed you earlier. It'll direct you to their website if you click on that link. This premium option is on the pricey side, but if you're managing hundreds of products, it could be worth considering. Plus, it's got pretty solid ratings too. All right, the last plugin is WooCommerce SE Integration by Digital Product Labs, Inc. This one isn't available through the Ad Plugins page, so you'll need to Google it to find their website or download the free version from WordPress.org. They offer both free and premium versions, and the free version has pretty good ratings. This plugin includes several handy features similar to the set commerce plugins. You could upload products in bulk or individually to Etsy with real-time syncing for orders, inventory, and products. It also supports calculated shipping and makes it easy to import products from Etsy. You could even track taxes on every sale you make on Etsy. They offer live chat and email support as well. If you're looking at the premium version, this one is a bit more budget-friendly than and set commerce plugin. It's currently about $99 per year compared to the Z plugin, which is about $249 a year. If you found this video helpful, please share it and give it a thumbs up. Have a fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!